Hi ladies, it's Friday, September 24th, 2010, and it's about 81 degrees here in Connecticut. Hi ladies, so this week I need to do the challenge, because I don't have any more week left to do the challenge in. So, that's what I'm about to show you right now. Enjoy! So, the Eastern States Exposition. I'm sure you guys have probably never heard of it. Because a lot of you probably aren't from the East Coast. Basically what it is is a giant, ridiculously huge, like, I'm talking, like, huge thing. Like, you could, you could spend two days there easily. Just looking at the shiny lights and the french fry stands and the lemonade stands and the fried dough stands and all that fun stuff. And that's mostly what I did when I was younger. I've been going to this thing f since I was a kid. And the biggest deal for me when I was a kid was always going to it and getting there and playing the games and being there. But now that I'm older, I realize that a lot of the big deals of going to this isn't really, like, the going there anymore. It's the coming home part. Because going there is great and all, but when you leave, you get to leave with all of these really fun memories that you didn't have when you were going there. And it kind of reminds me of a trap door that was, that was there. I still don't understand what that sign meant, but anyways. Um, leaving has always been, like, something that I'm really not good at. I'm really not good at leaving. Whether it's leaving a person, leaving a place. But I feel like now that I'm somewhat older, I guess, um, I've gotten better at it. <laughs> and better at not just focusing on the fact that I'm leaving. Although, to be honest, when you're on your feet all day, walking around the biggie, leaving it was a relief <laughs> on some sense, which is not the point to this video. But, um, leaving is something that you get to, you get to experience, and I think each person, it affects them differently. But, for me, I like to think of as, as leaving as the, like, you get to reflect on whatever just happened to you. And a lot of people take that negatively, like, oh my gosh, leaving, it's the end. It's not really the end. It only ends when you forget about what happened to you, or what you did, or who you saw, or any of that. So really, like, you might leave a place, but it really doesn't ever end. It won't end until you forget about it. So. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you ever leave something, just don't forget about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that somewhat. It was interesting to do, um, because it wasn't really what I originally planned to do with the challenge. I had a completely different idea in my head originally, but this is kind of what came out because of stuff. I was gonna, I don't know, I don't... I don't really know how I was going to do what I thought I was going to do originally, but this is what happened. So, yeah. It was interesting to do. It was interesting. Um, because I didn't really film that much that day, and then when I got home, I was, like, kind of sitting here thinking, like, okay, what can I do with this footage? Like, what can I talk about? And then it kind of hit me. <laughs> so... Yeah, it was interesting to do, so thank you very much for the challenge, Elena. That was really, really interesting, interesting challenge. And I think it's my turn to change the challenge next, so we'll see what, what, what happens with that. <laughs> Alright, ladies, I hope that your weekends are good, and Jenna will see you on Monday, and Elena, I will see you on Wednesday.